So, Graham, we'll go to you now. Um, yes. Tell me about, uh, well, dealer's choice. Either, either one of the ones you've got down here, which would you like prefer to start with? Um, I'll start with um, Steam World Dig 1 and 2, just because they're easier and quick to go through. It was just uh, I saw them sneaking into Game Pass, and I thought, eh, I'll give the first one a shot and see what it's kind of like. I was like, oh, okay. It's kind of like you dig in, you have to go back, sell the treasure, go back, get upgrades, go back further, get a bit further each time, go back. And I was like, yeah, I miss those kind of games. They're a bit kind of old schoolish. And then, like three hours later, I was like, "Oh, I'm I'm very invested in this." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, I can kind of see this through." I was just sort of burning through it. Mm. And then, within a kind of few days, I realised I completed the first one. I was like, "That was actually quite fun. I quite enjoyed that." Yeah. It was sort of, it wasn't overly difficult. It's just that like you. What just... sort of games are they? Because I've heard a lot about them, but I don't really know it's... much about them at the same time. Half platformer, half kind of strategy digging. Really, you just have to sort of careful where you dig so you don't get yourself into an enemy. Um, yeah. Then the sort of the combat was it's slightly difficult, but it's meant to be because there's not a lot of it. It's just that you have to try and avoid the fights. You have to try and sort of land rocks on their heads or just mm. avoid them because you're not supposed to fight them until you get to yeah. a certain bit where an upgrade where you can kind of turn the tables a little bit yeah. but then the boss bites were a bit a bit piece of cake they weren't overly difficult once you're sort of fully upgrading etc so it's not like they're over difficult games they're just kind of like they're the pick up and play ones that you sort of i've only got about sort of half an hour you can it's one you can just jump straight back into you progress it a little bit and basically leave it there and come back to it it's those kind of ones. You yeah. don't, they don't really make so many of those anymore that you can sort of play for a little bit and then come back to and know exactly where you were and sort of take on. Like usually I keep diving into sort of these lengthy ones that sort of kill my time, whereas those ones were just quite a quick, nice one. And after yeah. smashing the first one, the second one, I thought, oh, they've done this slightly bit different. Mm. But they've done the upgrades a little bit different. But and then after you get past the first sort of 45 minutes and then it's sort of, Oh, okay. No, it's back to how it kind of was again, and sort of progression, etc. And same sort of game, same sort of style, same sort of length, and same sort of difficulty. It was just following on the story from the first one. Yeah. And yeah, it was they're great little kind of platformer ones that yeah, old style games that are yeah, fun to pick up and play. Yeah. Not that difficult that you can just sort of play through, storm through. Very nice. Very nice. So I think I don't know if they're. The second one's not long come out, I don't think, but it's the first time they're on Xbox, if I'm not mistaken, or at least certainly in Game Pass. That's what I heard. Always just because the fact that we're both sort of sneak into to Game Pass. Every now and then, if their one catches my eyes, like, ah, I'll give it a taste and see what I kind of think. And it's, it's not another hundred hour RPG that you. <laughs> Fortunately, <laughs> no. But where you saw the what the other one was, that definitely was. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we'll we'll get to that very very shortly.